Okay, I did an intro for this, and it was really wimpy, so I tried again, and I forgot to record. So, let's do this. I am Jonah Coldwater. I'm the Dungeon Master slash Mediator for this Dungeons & Dragons Game of Thrones game. This is like a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons game mode that I created, with a few twists from normal Dungeons & Dragons. The first of which being, players do not work together towards some sort of common goal. Instead, they work against each other, competing. They each play a member of the small council from Game of Thrones, and each member of the small council has its own unique powers and weaknesses. And the common goal they're working towards is the Iron Throne, and to become the ruler of Westeros. But the difference is, only one can win. The second twist is that everyone has a secret, something that would be detrimental to their reputation, their house, or their life if it were to be found out by the other players. The third twist is that deaths are final. In normal Dungeons & Dragons, when a player would die, they would just make a new character and come back into the storyline. That doesn't happen here. If they die, they're out for good and lose their chance at the Iron Throne. Anyway, please enjoy, guys. This was so much fun to make, and if you're not subscribed already, which you probably are because no one watches our videos except for us, please consider doing that. We just hit 50, and we want to keep this train going. Let's let the Game of Thrones begin. I thought that'd be way cooler when I said it. I, I'm going really, to really really put some music behind it in post, and it's going to be dope. It's going to be insane. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Can everybody be quiet and I take do a part two just so we can get the real picture? Yeah, sure. Yeah, do we need to look like we're, like, super... Yeah, 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 everybody look, like, really into it. Okay. <clears throat> I'll put a surprise emoji in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> well, with that, let's let the Game of Thrones begin. I do a take three. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. The king is dead. Bran has died. The words keep echoing back and forth in his head as he walks down through the High Septon's church towards the podium to give one last speech for the man he had named king. He almost felt guilty. Bran was still so young. I guess that's how it goes with kings these days. Tyrion Lannister walks, walked up to the podium, looking around at all of the faces, looking up at him, all of them so unfamiliar. Why did everyone else have to go and die and leave him alone at this post? The post he didn't even want in the first place. He was the hand of the king and he had no one with him he could trust. He looked around at all of the new faces in the small council, all of them fresh, all of them hungry, and he couldn't help feeling like the Game of Thrones was about to start all over again. But there was a difference this time. He didn't want to play anymore. He was tired, he was old, and all his friends were dead. Well, almost all of them. Who the hell could he even get to be king now? One of these people? He looked around to the members of the small council, full of crocodile tears and fake sadness as they looked over the burned, charred body of Brandon Stark, their old king. His casket not even covered. You could tell they were all already thinking, how do I take his place? He looked first to his master of ships. Sam, if you'd like to describe your character. I... I... I am a weathered-looking man with a very long gray beard and definitely not thinning hair under <laughs> my hat. One of those long pirate trench coats, but not piratey, a little bit more fancy. And those really tall black pirate boots 
and pants that look suspiciously like tights. <laughs> You're not quite sure. I look very salty, like salt water has been thrown on me recently. <laughs> I've got a a telescope, like one of those fancy pirate ones, hanging from my belt. Of course and, uh, he does. Oh, they don't have guns here. Um, wait, nope. do they have guns in Game of Thrones? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, no. And a rapier at my side. I forgot what weapons I had. And uh, I don't have a real eye patch, but I have a cool tattoo that goes around my eye. <laughs> That's so tough. Yeah, That's pretty tough. Is okay. it just like a circle? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted the aesthetic without the, the difficulty of losing an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Does it like go over your eyelid, the tattoo? No, so when you close no, it, it's no. no, no. That'd be ridiculous. Oh, okay. No, so you just look like you have one black eye. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty tough, too, I guess. Captain Reginald Greyjoy. How the hell did a Greyjoy make it onto the council? Tyrion oh, shook his head. Greyjoys. I think, yeah. <laughs> They're assholes. <laughs> they always bring Grey and they always bring Joy. And I got, I got the <laughs> idea. He looked next to the Grand Maester. Standing there. The one that had pronounced Bran dead. Now still looking over the now dead king as if to find something new. Sarah, if you'd like to describe your character. Yeah, um, so I'm actually the grand mistress. Um, I'm a woman, first woman to ever inherit this role on in court, which is pretty special. Um, I'm like in my 20s, have pretty long brown hair, and then my clothing is a little bit too warm for where I'm at. It's made out of fur and leather and it doesn't really look pretty, but pretty functional. Um, I wear a necklace that shows a bear, which is the sign of uh, the family that I'm from, which I'm really proud of because I'm a Mormon and um, that's part of my history. I've always been raised with these stories about this really brave young female leader that we once had that would let our amazing <laughs> army. Okay. I'm here to find a fair, you know, new, yeah, to find a king that actually deserves to be king or queen. Or oh, queen. So true. Eleanor Mormont. That was at least a family name Tyrion could trust. He'd only ever known one Mormont, and he was a great man, a loyal one. Maybe the most loyal Tyrion had ever known, besides possibly John. And then there was the man that the Grand Maestress brought with her everywhere. One of the strange fellows Arya had brought back from the deep, deep west. Uh, what did he call himself? A samurai. And his name was Ninjin, or something like that. A sort of guard, companion. Maybe a lover. Tyrion didn't care anymore. He moved next to the Master of Law, standing closer to the back, where someone suspicious and befitting the name of his oldest friend, Braun of the Blackwater. Fiona, if you'd like to describe your character for us. Um, I'm the Mistress of Law. And I have long black hair, and I'm wearing a lot of fur and leather, and a black cloak, and I have my long sword at my side. Tyrion still wasn't sure about the Mistress of Law. These new Tyrells, or Blackwaters, whatever they're calling themselves, he wasn't quite so sure about. Which brought him next to the Mistress of Law's brother. Brian, if you'd like to describe your character for us. So I'm I'm dressed in relatively common clothes. They're all they're all clean. I walk around with a uh, with a flute in my uh, in, in, in my uh, uh, pocket. On top of that, I just look very tired. Not necessarily young, but I just look tired. And then there was the youngest of the Blackwater family, who had taken the traditional name of his house, Tyrell, Ralevin Tyrell the master of coin, replaced his father in that position after Bronn's tragic death. 
Tyrnian didn't trust him, but he'd been able to work with him well up until this point. Hopefully, nothing would change. But Tyrion wasn't quite so sure, seeing the company that the young Tyrell had brought with him. A giant of a man. A Karstark, Tyrion thought. Um, in ranger's clothes. Armed to the teeth. At a funeral. It was clear the new master of coin was expecting something. Meaning, he was planning something. Tyrion then looked to the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Bert, if you'd like to describe your character. Yeah, so um, I'm wearing, you know, you can look it up if you really want to know, but it's traditional uh, King's Guard armor. Um, very, it's it has a chest plate and like scale mail down the shoulders. Um, but for some reason, um, this new king wanted a a raven with three eyes instead of the traditional crown for some reason on the chest but i don't know why but yeah so so it's so it's some weird symbolage like that or something um obviously i don't have a helmet on since this is a ceremony that would be disrespectful um but then um at my hip i have a a sword in a in a gold inlaid leather sheath with uh a flower a rose pummel coming off very cool very ornamental um and then i have long curly um dark hair the bastard from the reach that had climbed his way all the way up through the ranks of the king's guard to become the captain it was the one man here that Tyrion felt like he actually trusted Maybe that was just his own bias. He'd always liked bastards, had a soft spot for him. And Adric Flowers seemed to remind him of something, someone, another bastard that he had known during another time, one that he hadn't seen in so many years. <sighs> and then it was fitting that the next person his eyes fell on was the one he trusted the least. The new master of whispers. Fittingly, flitting between people's conversations with a notepad, writing down their every word. He could see at least three other of the master of whispers spies doing exactly the same. Now, if there was ever someone planning something, it was the master of whispers. Ella, if you'd like to describe your character. I didn't know I had to do all the describing stuff. Um, Why? Why would you not know that? Know. <laughs> How long have you been I, playing D and D? A little bit. A, a, a spell. Um, I, my name. I decided just now that my name is Gregory, and um, I'm probably wearing a little nicer clothes than average, and um. I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm just hanging out. You know, that's, that's about it, really. Sweet, sweet. My visual appearance, hanging out. Something about the blonde hair now seemed to make Tyrion's blood curdle. He understand, understood why the Starks used to hate the Lannisters so much. After everything they take. Looking at Gregory, he should see the face of Viserys staring back at him. He was the old master of whispers but all he could see was Tywin Lannister. Tyrion didn't remember what he said next. He just choked out a few words about how much of a great king Bran had been. At least, what he could remember. Tyrion's memory wasn't the same as it used to be. It's what age did to you. He didn't even know how old he was now. He'd lost track. He just knew his body was starting to fail him. He needed to find a new king quick before old age took him, or more likely, one of the small council, seeking power. <sighs> As the funeral ended, Tyrion Lannister stalked away to a back room where he had his wine flask hidden. He drained it in one sip, took a deep breath, 
and put on his game face. Whether he liked it or not, the Game of Thrones was about to begin. All right, everyone, you are at Brandon Stark, the old king's funeral in the Church of the High Septon, the Church of the Seven, the rebuilt Church of the Seven. Oh. <laughs> uh, everyone is milling about paying their respects to Bran but all of you likely have other things in mind um, what would you guys like to do? So we're determining this by a game of musical chairs right? but just with really big chairs yes <laughs> would you mind if I did just go and pay my respects to the king? I would really appreciate that Bert Yes, I would really I mean, appreciate if, that. If, if, we have, if we haven't already, then I'd like to do the same. Okay. You all get into the line. Um, Ninja and Brian, your bodyguard, both stay behind, having not known the king and feeling out of place. What's oh, the name of my guy? His name is Benjen Karstark, ben named for the great ranger Benjen Stark. <laughs> I hate to ask this if it's already been explained, but how did he die? You said he was burnt? That is a great question. Brandon Stark was going to visit his sister, Sansa, who was recently taken very ill. He was traveling to the north, and on the way, his carriage was attacked by something. No one knows what, because no one survived. Brandon Stark's body was only found, burned, to a crisp, and the carriage mostly destroyed, and the horse is gone. Everyone else's body that was with him, his entire party, his guards, his serving boys, everyone gone. Brandon Stark's body was the only one recovered. Once I get up there, I want to go down next to the coffin and, and whisper faintly. I want to say, I'll find who did this to you. Okay. Very nice, Bert. Wait, Jonah, you said that the guards and the servants never no bodies were found no bodies were found did it look like there was more of a fight nothing nothing they've been captured could have been captured or could have turned on him yeah nobody really knows and are those guards underneath Idric? Adric? yes Huh. Yes, those would have been King's Guard men. And also some Northmen, known to be fiercely loyal to Brandon Stark. Um, if you do want to find out more about that, uh, you all could try and find the guards um, that worked for Bert that ended up finding the carriage. You all have paid your respects to the king. However, honestly, each of those respects were paid. Only you're to say. Um, what else do you guys want to do? I want to talk to Sam. Okay. So we Ooh. have a Discord server set up for that. Captain Reginald, I realize this is a somber moment, but I have to make sure that my shipment that comes in on uh, Friday comes in safely. Um, right. I don't believe it is coming in with any markings, but hopefully you can um, arrange for that to be brought to uh, uh, the, the Kingsguard, the, the armory. And, uh, and, and what it, the... it shouldn't be marked um, other than, uh, you know, it, it should be probably one of the only one that comes in unmarked. And I just make sure that you bring it in with some level of secrecy. And uh, what exactly are you bringing in that needs to go to your guards specifically from an unmarked ship? I couldn't tell you that, because that might spoil the surprise. All right. That was so sketchy. I love it. So you see my character walk, messy hair, buttons not even, out of a room with this thing. <laughs> You're not sure what happened, but it's clear. It's, it's... <laughs> uh... You said that um, texting people if you don't have messages cheating, right? Um. Yes. Okay. Except for you. I have right. I have I have message. So Okay. I so as long as I'm within a room with someone I can message them, right? Yes. Okay. Um 
Maybe I'll have um, you guys release those DMs afterwards and I'll put them up on editing screen. Or I'll edit this out and I won't do that. And mm. you guys will just have to wonder. Oh my gosh. So, Wait, is Tyrion still there? Tyrion has walked off into a side room. You can follow him if you'd like. I just have a question. I yeah. can ask it just to all of the people here since I'm kind of new in my um, you know, Your my role. workplace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is it actually needed to present the body to the people? Mm. Can I just bury him in peace? Uh, do any of you have an answer for that? I mean, you guys are the ruling council. What do you think? I think that I, I think that we should take the time out to let the to let the people grieve as well. Um, why why do you? I, it's really hard to not go into southern accent. <laughs> That's okay. That fits for the Greyjoys, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um, why do you want to bury this? body so quickly i just don't want to have it lay around here it's honestly sort of creepy well don't you think we need a maybe a funeral procession through the kingdom not the whole kingdom but maybe around the castle area and this i don't actually know how game of thrones castles work <laughs> but around the kingdom and allow uh visitors to come and pay their respects to our king yeah i was just asking why she wanted to put him in the crypt so quickly. Mm, maybe Actually. she's trying to hide something. Oh, yeah. I actually knows? can't wait to have him to myself. No, this was an inappropriate <laughs> show. Are I you, am so sorry. Are you suggesting you're going <laughs> you to the body of our king? <laughs> no. Is, that, is that what no. you're saying? No, not at all. Can I get a backup on this one? <laughs> <laughs> Writing it down right now. Necrophilia is a punishable crime. Not to mention really weird. Well, not but, to mention really weird. Let's see if it is a punishable crime. Jade, I Jade, Jade are, are we gonna get punished for this one? I just, I don't think it matters the punishment. I think we shouldn't do it either way. <laughs> <laughs> I, you heard it here first, folks. Necrophilia with the king shouldn't do it. Sarah, yeah. um, one of the maester maestress assistants comes up to you and kind of like nudges a little closer to you. There's been a raven from Lady Sansa. Oh. Do you want to open it here? <laughs> um, I would just like take a step aside and then open it. Okay, and just read it by yourself. Of, or Lady of Winterfell now, demanding that Brandon Stark's body be sent back to the north so he can be put in the crypts of Winterfell with the rest of his family. Who signed the letter? Sansa. Do I know her handwriting? Um, sure. Do you want to make me some sort of check for that? What would that be? I guess, I would say you've seen it a few times being the Grand Maester. You read all of the Ravens. So, yeah, make me a intelligence check, Sarah. Oh, that's, that's... Do you want dice cam, Jonah? No, that's okay. Just don't cheat. Oh my god, I don't lie on this, but it's a natural 20. <laughs> it's just really boring, I feel like, but it's okay. It is a pretty boring one. It is Sansa's handwriting. Okay. Um, One thing oh, you do notice, though, is her hand is becoming more shaky. She seems to be getting worse. Oh my lord. Um, Grand Maestress, you seem troubled. Is there something in this letter that you would like to share with the rest of us? I mean, I am honestly not surprised, knowing... Uh, you know, of the Cray tradition and history of the North, but um, North remembers. The North always remembers, and um, yeah, the Stark family is asking to take this body back to the rest of his family to bury him in the crypts of Winterfell. I think that this is a matter better discussed in a more private only us setting. You guys could call a small Am I council right, meeting. Fellow small council members. <laughs> <laughs> All of the nobles are kind of like. <laughs> I I think that'd be appropriate. Yes, we should talk it about this. It would be appropriate, yeah. At this point, the doors to the High Septon's church burst open. And Sam, you see a crew of your men strolling in. One of them. <laughs> spits on the ground while walking in. All of them dressed. They just came from the ships. 
and they're just Yo, walking in. My guards apprehend them. Yeah, no, immediately. No, 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 no. Immediately, the no, no, king's guard no, no, swarms them. Hey, 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 fuck off! We're coming to speak to the captain! I'm gonna walk Captain Reginald. Reggie! This, building. this is an unkept behavior. So, this should sorry, never so, be acceptable. I'm, guys, guys, in a ceremony they, for our Jeffrey, dead what did king. I say to you last Are time? they storming the capital? Is this what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> this no, 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 no. is a revolution! They're not all. Yeah. Fucked. Don't worry. Uh <laughs> 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 So, this is inappropriate yeah, I'm gonna behavior. Try to push them out of the building and say, "All right, all right we'll talk outside." I'm fine. Huh. Don't we? He's our king too. Yeah. Um, what do you? What do you, is this? Is this wait, relevant to other people? Oh, I don't know. I just want to scream at somebody. Scream at. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. We'll go outside. We're going. Outside, the way. We're going. Um, they gesture for you to follow, Reggie. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk out. Like, all right, all right. I'm gonna sort of, like. Put my boot over the spit and kind of like rub it in a little bit so it looks less gross. <laughs> <laughs> it just sticks to your boot. You got, uh, oh, uh, and you're uh, just kind of like tracking it a, all over now. I, it's. I point a guard to go clean that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the guard kind of. Oh. Sam, they I pull you outside. Reggie, Reggie, Cap, we yeah. we found some. Why is off the coast? Something that hasn't been there before. Maybe it has, but we never seen it. There's a new island. A, a what? A new island. Completely new. Haven't seen it before. And here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. From what we've seen, it's completely made of dragon glass. Or obsidian, as the folk here call it. What? Have you sent any men out? Nah, we were about to do that, but we wanted to ask your permission to go explore it. Take a small crew. No small more than, crew. No, no more than 20. No more than 20. No Take right. a fast, small boat. Yep. Reconnaissance. You're not to step on the island until you come back to me, okay? All right. Good deal. Good deal. And don't mention this to anyone else. Oh, we won't say a thing. From, from what? If anyone asks you, you saw... You saw a trading ship off the coast that wasn't expected, and you came to tell me about it. Good deal. Trading ship off the coast, unexpected. We blew him up. Good deal. Uh, no, 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 don't. That's going to cause a lot more paperwork. Okay, just no. So you, you saw them, and they weren't expected. They were just passing by. Oh, they were just passing by. All right, all right. But you were worried about it, so you came to you came. To yeah, we know. barged into the funeral to tell you that there was a Good trading right. ship. <laughs> How smart do I think these guys are? Because they don't come across this. <laughs> Notice how I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> Even by Greyjoy standards, they're not too bright. But they're loyal. They're very, right, very right. loyal. That's good. Okay. As soon as you as soon as you find something, come find me and tell me. Alright. Alright. And and don't let anyone else know about this. We won't, boss. We're leaving right now. The only people right. that are gonna know are seagulls. All right, I'm gonna turn around and go back in and like be like whispering to myself, interrupt the goddamn ceremony for this like, <laughs> ship. And, like, just talking about just like, really how, selling how it, really selling it. Were. Yep, 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 yep. Fair, 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 fair. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They they think everything's so important. I'm. It was very dumb. Not to worry. All right. Um. I fear your crew may need more discipline, Captain. Some of us believe in freedom. <laughs> Not all of us, though. <laughs> Most of us believe in slavery. <laughs> do they have slaves? Um, you guys probably do, but you're not allowed to talk about it because you're not oh, yeah, supposed yeah, yeah. to. We believe we believe in freedom here and some equality on a ship. Where's their <laughs> dignity? Wow. Don't I want to? At this point, I want to ramp up like guards on the main entrance to the <laughs> someone storms your capital and all of a sudden you think that you should ramp up security <laughs> what a ridiculous play oh this, this is gonna happen again by the time this is edited and comes out this is gonna be so much less topical yeah <laughs> that's okay though all right ella your your servant um doran flowers comes up to you craig when do you think we can get out of here? 
Do you have a meeting after this? Are we gonna meet um, to talk about the the man, or are we not? I we thought we were about to have a small council meeting. Yeah, we're about to have a small council meeting, so maybe in just a little bit I can leave. Okay, I will be waiting. Okay. Um, you don't need me for Thank this, you. do you? No, 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 no. Okay. I will uh, see you later. Yes. Master of Whispers. And he turns and he walks to more like where the servants are standing. They don't get to go into the inner circle where all of the nobles are paying their respects to the king, but they still have to be there in case the nobles need something. Naturally. Naturally. Brian, the massive Benjamin Stark, he's not sitting with any of the servants or anything. He's over by the food. Who is he? Your bodyguard. Oh, okay. Or, sorry, your, your buddy. Your best friend. Your <laughs> you're you're all you're all chum. You're all chum. The really muscular, arm to the teeth, Benjamin Stark. <laughs> um, he's over by the food, and he looks back towards you. Kind of watches, uh, the servant move back into the crowd and kind of disappear into that. Um, and then he's gonna walk over to you. Oh. Uh, Oi, boss. Um, I have a question. Yeah? Who am I meant to be protecting you from here? They are all just nobles. None of them even have weapons. Yeah, yeah. It's the nobles. Um, I don't really know. I, d I don't know quite yet. Here, that's, I have uh, tested all the food for you. There is uh, no poison. I have eaten all of some of it, tasted all of the different wines, and uh, it's all good. Uh, that's, that's great to hear. Yes. I can go try again if you're not sure. No, no, no. I, I, I trust you. He takes your plate. Let me make sure this is okay. Anything else for the rest of you? Can I take some food for later? Yes, you can. You can just shove okay. some in your pockets. I'm gonna take some you, you probably have a special bag for that. Yeah. Just kind of dump some of the party food in there. Um, I like How small... Food. You go, Brian, you go first. I, I, just said, I, I'd like, first. I just said I'd like to do the same. I'd like to grab at least, like, a meal's worth of food. <laughs> the master of coin stealing <laughs> food. <laughs> uh, I see this is how he got rich. This is so inappropriate. Um, for, Jonah, how smart is my samurai? He's not, not an idiot. Smart. Okay, um, I will just, um, message him. So okay. I will message you. Jonah. Is there a way that I can, like, send a message to my ship people, like my, um, my crew people, I guess, or dock people? Uh, you want to message them? Not, like, message, but, like, I, can I send a, yeah. like, can I send, like, a message to them somehow? You can have the Grand Maester send them a raven. Oh, it <laughs> goes through the Grand Maester. Yes, that is correct. I rescind that. <laughs> oh, it's tough. That's tough. That's tough. You could always have, you could always get somebody to bring the message to them personally. Oh, Not if they're like, already at I'll... sea, though. Mm, that is that is a good point. Um, we have many I, I gods. Just... If you would like one of my gods to bring the message for you. Oh, oh, did you read my mind now when I was asking the GM? Did you read my mind knowing that I wanted to do this? Yes, How did yes, you know about that? <laughs> because you were looking for a piece of paper and then you started to walk to the Grand Maester and then you changed stopped. your mind. So do you um, mean Grand Maestress here when you were saying Grand Maester? Well, Jonah said it, so I was following his I lead. Did. Yeah, sorry, sir. I keep forgetting. Following the patriarchy. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Sam. That was a test. That was a test. And I wanted to... So and you failed. Uh, Sam's so character's secret is that he's a sexist. <laughs> <laughs> he's just been outed! Oh, Sam! That is a secret. <laughs> Actually, everyone's secret is just that they're sexist. Um, you're scheduled to have a small council meeting whenever you all are ready. But you need oh, to I, find Tyrion um, first. Okay, wait. Can I go walk over to um Adric and then ask him to go have his guards deliver this to the yeah sure docks I area. was gonna do this before Sam was even gonna say that 
Um, but so I, oh, this is really shitty, but I was going to say I wanted to go talk to, to, to Reginald. So I was going to be walking in that general direction. But I know that's shitty now with the given situation, but I was planning on doing that. That's probably <laughs> fine. I mean, you can still go talk to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm going so to go like on the way to go talk to yeah. the other guy. You guys all probably meet up at about the same point, the three of you. <laughs> Reginald, what did, uh, what did your, your people have to say to you? Oh my, don't even get me, don't even get me started on this again, okay? Listen, Jeffries is convinced that everything that happens to him is important, that the whole goddamn world revolves around him, okay? Do not ever give Jeffrey an inch. So what happened? What did they say? They saw a trading ship that was going by, and they thought it was coming into port, but it wasn't. It was just going by, and they freaked out about it and sent some people, and they were worried that they had to, like, destroy it and i was like oh my god jeffrey you don't even use the cannon every goddamn day oh, okay, okay now reginald I insight you... check jonah insight check that sure yeah. sam deception check <laughs> okay deception check and also is, an insight. is my um, yeah. start guy here jonah yes he is okay or vaguely Ooh. he's still eating your food but <laughs> <laughs> he's next to you he's cl he's within striking distance that was that was not that great, but I have my number. Um. Well, Sam, it's better than mine. I crit failed. Oh ho, <laughs> Brian! He is truthing you so hard right now. You have met, never been truthed this hard in your life. I know this guy, right? And he could help you a lot. He helped a lot with the, with uh, disciplining all of my guards. No, 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 so no, no, no. I don't if need you a dog need trainer. help there. I don't need a dog okay. trainer. I don't okay. need a dog trainer. <laughs> I will say your your dogs, as you call them, uh, just burst into a a funeral. So <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't need this sass right now. Okay, I get, you should my you wife should really tell just... them how to behave. Huh? You should really explain to them how to behave. Okay, you know what? Everybody's just walking over to shame you. Scenario, and now Jonah has caused me to seem like an awful master of ships. I told you, everyone hates the Greyjoys. <laughs> this Thanks, is why. Man. This is why. All right, y'all. I really appreciate that you've all gathered gathered here, but I'm not sure why everybody is coming okay, around I, all of a sudden. I'm going to bring him over just to the side, not like that far. I drink. I just need you to deliver this letter. Have one of your guards deliver this letter. Can I? Can I roll perception for that, Jonah? To hear? To hear? He didn't bring us that far. Perception? Is that perception? Yeah. Is like that... the idea that we're all standing here, <laughs> go here, and then yeah. Brian's like, <laughs> <laughs> Brian, yeah, you can follow them and listen. You don't need to roll for that. You can yeah, roll okay. for stealth to make them not gonna, see like, you. Gonna... But I feel like they're gonna see you. Yeah. I'm just yeah, gonna turn around and say, um. Hey, how's it going? I was just gonna bring a letter, and I figured it would be faster than going through the maestress. And I well, we have that system in place for a reason, and it, it's for it's a secure like, it's delivery. It's like three blocks to the docks, man. It's not that far. We well, use we a whole last bird for this. Like I have to put it on the bird. I just figured the guy could walk. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that is fair reasoning. <laughs> but we do have I mean, the system I'm, I'm in a, place. I'm a captain. I don't like I don't like birds very much. No, you, you, see, no, you, see you say somewhere. that again. Have you guys ever seen that albatross? <laughs> I love that running. everyone is just around <laughs> now. <laughs> it's like everyone's the peanut gallery and just keeps showing up to shame Sam. <laughs> Excuse me? You don't like birds? Yeah, no kidding. They're not well trained. I cannot believe your people just did that. Can you believe this guy? Learn how to do your job. Can I find you a dog trainer, please? <laughs> You know, you know what? I'm gonna leave these guys. I'm gonna find the most, like, the guard that looks like he's doing the least. Uh, the walk guy who's just him. finished cleaning up your spit. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up to him, put my hand on his shoulder, hand him this note, and say, I just need you to take this to my guys at the docks. It's oh. just something I forgot to tell them. Uh, yeah, yes, master. Here, and um, then I'm gonna, like, slip him a gold coin. What is a normal amount of money in this? A gold coin's a lot. He'll definitely do it if you give him a gold coin. Well, what is like a normal My amount of money? My soldiers do not take bribes, Jonah. Um, I'm yes, they do. <laughs> I stand in front so he doesn't see it and then hand him a coin. Um, uh, uh, thank you, I'm gonna roll master. insight on that. But, uh, Does he do that? Uh, he, Bert, your guy holds up the gold coin. Thank you, master, but, you know, I I have to take orders from you, right? You don't have to pay me. Oh, oh, I'm gonna take the <laughs> Oh, no, that's so... Oh, damn it. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, at this point, 
Tyrion is going to come back out of the side room looking very sad and possibly a little drunk. Um, only a little? Only a little. Only His body can't really take it anymore. Um, he walks up to you. You can't tell if he's stumbling from the wine or from his age. But he moves up towards uh, you, Bert. Flowers. <clears throat> Flowers. Tyrion. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I get down on one knee. Aww. Aww. He's going to put his hand on your shoulder to kind of steady himself. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> Flowers, I have a job for you. I need one of your guards to deliver a message. And it's something I can't trust to a raven. I need you to send one of your best men. The one you trust the most. And I need you to take this letter to the Night's Watch. And he hands you a little scroll. Can you do that? It will be done. I take the I take it. Thank you. Post haste? Post haste. Post haste. And then I immediately march out of the room as fast as I can. Okay. Okay, so there's not to a whole peanut my gallery around guy. that interaction? Nope! The whole acid <laughs> is not, like, a whole, you know, like, a, there's not a whole sitcom scene. <laughs> Do we want to call that small council meeting? Yes. Um, I think I, I'd like to address the nobles real quick. Okay. I, I know that this has all been a very rough day for all of us, and that we will miss the, the great king quite, quite a bit, but I think the best thing that we can do for now is to continue working and continuing passing on and working for the dream of the empire uh, the way that the king wanted to wanted to have seen fit but if anybody has any pre-existing circumstances that are now different and, and arrived because of the king i'd be uh, more than more than happy to try to help you work those problems out so my office doors are, are always open if there's any uh, new circumstances and i'll do my best to try and help you um from a lot of the nobles you hear here here cheers to the master of coin one of them goes, Yeah, Tyrell! <laughs> Love you too, Jimmy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bert's guards kind of like shove him back into the <laughs> crowd. Um, um, Jonah, are the maids still around? Like the one that handed me the letter earlier? Yes, there are. One second, though. You hear, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You hear a yell from somewhere in the crowd. You don't know where it goes, comes from. But he goes, The North never dies! And then all of the northern nobles slap their hand to their hearts, including uh, Benjen uh, Karstark, your bodyguard, Bran. And they all turn towards Bran, and then they nod their heads. I want to also do that, because I'm from the You north. are from the north. You are from the north. Okay. Um, Sarah, what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to, after I do this, obviously, um, to call one of the maids. Um, I can message her too, right? She's smart enough to receive my message. Yeah. Bert. So, you yes. are uh, heading... Where are you going with the letter? Who are you going to find? My top guard, for whom I do not have a name, but can make one if you would like me to. Um, You don't need to. Okay. My fastest rider. Your fastest rider. Okay. Bert, you get to him pretty quickly. Um, he's just on guard, guard duty right outside, and you hand him the letter. Um, Bert, what's your passive perception? Well, how do you... Um, it's you your wisdom plus 10? Yeah, it's your wisdom yeah. plus... Yeah. Wait. Is 11? It, no, 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 no. It's just your wisdom. It's just your wisdom. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's 10 no, plus your plus perfect plus your wisdom, perception yeah, plus, bonus. Yeah, plus your perception bonus. That's what this means. 11. 11. Okay. He takes the letter. It will be done. And then he takes off towards the stables. All right. And Bert, do you head back inside? Yeah, of course. All right. Tyrion sees you and he nods like to see if you give confirmation. Okay. Did any of us see this? Yeah. Yes. You all saw Tyrion give him a letter. 
Tyrion oh. wasn't quiet about it. He's not trying to keep anything a secret. And nobody else said anything. Nobody decided they needed to go over there and ask why they didn't use a raven or ask anything. <laughs> it's the hand of the king. He can order you to fuck off. <coughs> no has. respect around here. <laughs> you all head up to the chambers of the small council. Tyrion starts lagging behind, but he eventually makes it all the way up. Um, is is uh, Sarah's samurai in here? No, he waits at the door. Okay. Um, d- would you like to tell Benjen Karstark to do the same? Uh, yes. Okay. He nods and he just waits outside there with Ninja. You hear them, like, starting a conversation as the door closed. So these nobles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just stand there in silence. <laughs> I, of course, have two guards out there also. Yes. Yes. So there are four guards standing out there. I, I don't have any guards in there because, you know, water. But I put a tiny model ship out there to <laughs> I carry several with me at all times. I assume Ella will have like a little spy waiting out there too. Um. Yes. Heck yes, Ella. You have lots of little spies that you can send places and tell them to do things. But we'll deal with yeah. We'll deal with that after the small council meeting is over. Um. All right, Fiona. (laughs) Do you want to leave anything out there just to like let people know what's going on? I'll put my sword out there. (laughs) <laughs> don't have anybody. Okay. <laughs> All right, the doors close and we'll let the small council meeting begin. Tyrion, he sits at the head of the table and he waits for you all to take your seats. We have a lot to discuss today. Where sh- do you think we should start? I think I need to draw to your attention once again uh, the request of Family Stark. Yes. Tell us about that. I think I was not there. Um, yeah, the Starks request um, Bran's body back to their grounds to bury him together with the rest of his family in Winterfell. We could also do a funeral procession to the north and have folks grieve along the way, start in the city. Master of coin, do we have the resources to do so? It, it it would be expensive for sure. We would need to take loans out, um, but it it could be done. Uh, As the, the master of whispers, I'm sure can tell you, there have been whispers, pardon the joke there, of revolution. A new group is emerging. They haven't done too much as of yet, but they seem organized, and they have a call that they're rallying behind. What their demands are, we are not sure yet, but we are starting to see this symbol cropping up all over the city, and the other noble leaders are saying that they're seeing it too. It is the symbol I have just posted. Daur Valar Ixis Sirje. Yes. Um, All of you are able to translate it. It, The gist of it is that um, no man is above another, like all are equal. Master of Whispers, have you heard anything of a revolution coming? Ella, yes, you have. <laughs> You've Wait. heard a lot. Why, yes, I have, good sir. And let me tell you what. I've heard it up from all across the land, these ramblings about revolution. Uh, but I'll t- you let me tell you something. He not the rebel that screams revolution. Because uh, he doesn't have your interests at heart. Mm-hmm. Has there been any violence whatsoever? No violence yet, but tensions are rising. With the grand procession, it will need to be heavily guarded now that that we have this knowledge. It would be a a keen place for the uh, rebels to try and sabotage. What are they going to do, kill him again? Well, no, but (laughs) dismember his body. If we're using him as an icon of unity for our people, that is exactly what they'd want to destroy. You're right, they would cut him up and then say it's not unity. Good call, smart man. Master of law, master of coin. Lord Commander, do you think you could see to getting more armed men to assist in security at the capital while the 
parade is taking place. If it, if it is wished, but I, I bring up once again, we're already stretching our budget short, and we need to acknowledge the financial risk we're putting in here, but it can be done. Could we possibly get some of the noble houses to volunteer their men? I yes. am sure my family can... Greyjoy, no. Too. Greyjoy, no. Damn it. No. <laughs> Don't want your people. We can send two, <laughs> But they will be strong and they will be brave. <laughs> Tis an honored contribution, lady. I, I, I look over at Jade. Our, our family doesn't have many men, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure, sure that we can put in a good word. I'm sure we can. We can make that happen. Speaking of House Tyrell, though, we do need to find a suitable replacement for the king. Now, I have someone in mind, but I'm waiting to hear back from them. And it could possibly be a no. We need to work on getting other options until then. Jade and Ralevin, do you think you could speak to your brother? Which He's one? <laughs> the one that didn't go crazy and blow stuff up with his uh, heathenist magic. And that yeah. was also definitely gay. Not that one. <laughs> Wait, so we talked to the gay one? No. Do oh, you okay, know good, where the good. gay one is? Because last oh, yeah, time I, I heard he is missing. No, we don't know where he is. Okay. No, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean the one that is ruling House Tyrell at the moment. Yes, we could, we could arrange that. Thank you. I think he could be a great ruler for the kingdom. He's liked by all, and he's been a good ruler so far. And the Tyrell house is... Not threatening to people. No offense meant, but if we put a Lannister in charge, there would be a revolution from the north. If we put a Greyjoy in charge... I, t- <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about that. And House Mormont, while honorable, what is yes. your population? 30? 40? <laughs> yes, as I thought. <laughs> Darian, I do think there's one thing that you're not considering. Yes. We do have a quite qualified person here in this room already. Someone who's served a life in diplomacy and has proven himself many a times on the battlefield. You Perhaps you should be king. He's also someone who will be dead in a matter of months, I'm sure. I'm old. Edric, I don't want to do this anymore. I never wanted the position of Hand of the King. I will act as king until we can find someone else. But then, I think I'll go. Peacefully. Does anyone know where I could get a whore and some wine? The two guards that found Brandon Stark's body come back. They're kind of like bustling together. Um... They stumble in. They both snap to attention immediately. Lord Commander, Hand of the King, Small Council, everybody, hello. You know I told you to call me Big PP. Why are you not doing it? <laughs> the other one goes, I was going to call you Big PP. I reminded him. I reminded him. Yeah, call him Big PP. <laughs> yes, Lord Commander. Off the guard so quick. Small PP. <laughs> good, good. Uh, you all, you sent for us, Lord Commander. Yeah, what can we do for you? Please explain. Explain what you saw that day when you saw the king. Oh, of course, it was horrible. It was horrible. Uh, We saw the carriage first. Saw the carriage first. It was uh, very burned and blackened. Uh, Like most of the ground around it. Looks like there was a big fire set. Maybe the carriage itself was set on fire like immediately. And we started digging through it. And that's when we found the body of Branded Stark. Oh, we knew it was him because the crown. Why were you there in the first place? Ah, uh, well, we would we were sweeping the area, see? We were looking for some outlaws. We were just trying to get some get some work done, being guards, and then we found it. We did find this this one guy, he's real beat up, not looking so good. Um and we just threw him in jail. Oh, he's still in there or something. Well well, um, did you ever find any other guards or servants at all, or any evidence of bloodshed from them? No, nah, that was the weird bit. There was no blood at all. 
Who who were um Lord Commander? Who who were the guards that went with him? The guards that went with him. Uh I think Larry Larry, um, please. He he said Lord Commander. It's... I did say Lord Commander. Oh, sorry, yeah. But I figured he didn't actually know. So you should Yeah, uh answer. so Larry, um Barpus, Binkles, and Tweed. Tweed. It was Larry, Barpus, Binkles, and Tweed. <laughs> <laughs> Names I planned out beforehand. <laughs> yep. Some of, the, some of the, the most courageous men I've ever known. I trust them with my heart and soul. This is very true. They were all very good men. Some of the best. Was it, this in a wooded area? Yeah. No, it was fielded. It was a straight, a flat. What what time of year is this, Jonah? Um, it's like fall. So it, it could have been. Okay, so, so yeah. Well, I mean. Well, it's kind of wet. Is pre or post harvest? Well, winter is coming, right? Winter is coming. That's true. That's true. Except summer hey, lasts. Is winter long. coming? Winter's coming in no. a bit. It's not summer for a while. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> um. It would have been that it's post harvest still, so still the rain season. Okay. Look, the only thing I think we know for certain is that it was wildfire. Yes. Yes. Right. What That's about the whole dragon thing? Uh, what how do about we know it, it's wildfire? <laughs> okay, I'm not defined by my last name. <laughs> uh, um, this have, is. Have cool. you been seeing dragons, Greyjoy? No. no. So I feel as if our running theories thus far maybe has something to do with, with uh, fake Northmen impersonating Northmen. And uh, I didn't hear any opposition to my idea of, of, the, of the revolution, but I didn't hear anybody agreeing with that. It's hard to say. It does seem so I, more I, likely. I believe that, yeah, I believe that the, seems the most likely okay. cause of... So then those will be the two leads that we should try to have looked into. Okay. Um, I would like to go down to the jail. Um, I'd also like to do that. Okay. Uh, are, the... We leaving the, are we leaving the room? Yes, I think you're done. Well, okay. this has been a successful small council. If there's more we need to discuss, you all are free to call a meeting. I am going to go lie down. Does the um, meeting system work like it does in... Among Us, where the perpetrators uh, have to stop for a second and we all get insta teleported into safety for a brief second. Yes, that's exactly how it works, Brian. <laughs> no. <Among us. laughs> no. It's not quite going to so work. Sir so, so Gregor kind of sus. I saw a very <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sir Gregor is mad sus, though. I need a maid. You need a maid? Alright. Yes. Is there one? Yes, they there is. They're everywhere. they're they're everywhere. Okay, I would Hand like maiden. to give her a little letter. Okay. Which letter? Q R S? It's Yeah, yeah, just um, you know, maybe <laughs> Okay, okay. An L. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I got it. I got it. Okay, and uh Grand Maester and Master of Coin, the two of you would like to go down to the jail? Anyone yeah. else? Are we are we all gonna go down there? This feels like something that the entire small council does not need to be there for. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming that I'm gonna have my guard my guards either have already or will in the future question him. Yeah, you can have your so guards question. I'm assuming that my chambers are kind of down there, so I'm heading the towards dungeon? there anyway. The dungeon. So not in the dungeon. <laughs> Is that where you live, Sarah? <laughs> no, 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 no. But usually the friend Maester is living like I don't know, underneath. I don't even know where he really lives. Down below, where he can perform experiments on the prisoners. Yeah, I feel like that's exactly where he, or where she's supposed to live. Okay, um, sure, you can live in the dungeon, Sarah. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Sarah sounds like such a weed. She lives in the dungeon with a samurai. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you bringing ninja? That's a good question. And are you bringing Benjin, Brian? Yes. Okay. Uh. The four of you head down to the dungeons then. I'm going to like call after them. Okay, report this back to us. I've got better things to do. You do have some maybe important things to see to. 
All right. Um. Yeah. You guys head down to the dungeon. Uh, the guards they direct you to where the person is in the cells. The dungeon it's I mean like this is the keeps dungeon so it's pretty good. This is like mm-hmm. where the high quality prisoners get put. This isn't like the common jail so you don't need to worry about that. Um, he was put here just in case you guys did want to question him. Um, you make it to the side and you see someone huddled up in the corner like this, arms around their knees, head down. Very black, shaggy hair, kind of like going down over their face. It looks like they've, they've, they're stressing out. They're worried about something. I like to message uh, the Grand Maestress. Uh, we should try to be kind to him, at least at first. We should try to at least to make him feel as if we want to help him. I, I see no reason not to go into it this way. Oh yeah, no, I absolutely agree. Okay. Hello there. No, sorry. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. Um, how are you doing? I know this fucked. Is... Terrible. How do I look like I'm doing? Uh, you look pretty fucked and, and terrible. Yeah. But that's kind of why we're here. Is, um, why? Yeah. Why Why did you find yourself in a situation that would lead to this end result? God. I can't. I can't tell you. I can't. Why not? Why not? I was ordered not to say anything. Oh, I'm not... I'm not supposed to say anything. Look, I, I know, I know I messed up at the end, but I'm loyal. I, I really am. You gotta believe me. I didn't, I, have... I didn't want for any of this to happen. I have no Who doubt. Who told you not to tell anything? Well, the only person I answer to, Brandon Stark. He told you not to answer any questions? Yeah, I'm, I'm not supposed to say what happened. I'm just supposed to s- s- tell everyone to move on, and I'm supposed to move on too, but I can't. I can't. I can't help feeling like it was my fault. I feel like I did this. Right, I didn't know what was going to happen, okay? <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, no, that's totally understandable. So you were part of the trust of the king? Yeah, I was one of his servants. Fuck, I don't even know if I'm supposed to tell you that. That sucks, man. I, I know. I know. And I, I don't know where everyone else went, so there's no one else that understands. And I was... Fuck. And... How did you survive this? Winter's coming in a bit. It's not for a while.